Exercise 1. As the technological revolution gathers pace, education and training are thought to be the answer to everything. They are, but we have to understand the question. Educating more people, and to a much higher standard, is vital. But we also have to educate them differently. The problem is that present expansion is based on a fundamental misconception. The confusion of academic ability with intelligence. For years, academic ability has been conflated with intelligence, and this idea has been institutionalized into testing systems, examinations, selection procedures, teacher education, and research. As a result, many highly intelligent people have passed through education feeling they aren't. Many academically able people have never discovered their other abilities. Exercise 1. As the technological revolution gathers pace, education and training are thought to be the answer to everything. They are, but we have to understand the question. Educating more people, and to a much higher standard, is vital, but we also have to educate them differently. The problem is that present expansion is based on a fundamental misconception. The confusion of academic ability with intelligence. For years, academic ability has been conflated with intelligence, and this idea has been institutionalized into testing systems, examinations, selection procedures, teacher education, and research. As a result, many highly intelligent people have passed through education feeling they aren't. Many academically able people have never discovered their other abilities. Exercise 1. As the technological revolution gathers pace, education and training are thought to be the answer to everything. They are, but we have to understand the question. Educating more people, and to a much higher standard, is vital, but we also have to educate them differently. The problem is that present expansion is based on a fundamental misconception. The confusion of academic ability with intelligence. For years, academic ability has been conflated with intelligence, and this idea has been institutionalized into testing systems, examinations, selection procedures, teacher education, and research. As a result, many highly intelligent people have passed through education feeling they aren't. Many academically able people have never discovered their other abilities.